Hi guys, this is Ashish from Technospot.net and today I'll be talking about an application called as iPhone Explorer which helps you uh, browsing your iDevices like iPhone, iPod and iPad uh, from your computer like you do with a USB storage device for example. This application is completely free and you can download it uh, without any worries of getting any craftware or toolbars installed. I'll tell you at the end from where you can download. Let's look at the application first. I've already opened it up. Just iPhone Explorer. Now you can see it for my iPad at least it's giving me two views which has apps and media. Now let's forget about the apps part which is which we at least bothered anyway we manage it to the iTunes. Uh, the media part we have, like you can see, all your application archive, book, DCM, downloads, everything is here. Let's take up the two parts. First is the photo part, then we'll come back to the video and the audio part. Now, the images are divided into two sections, even in iPad also. One is a saved album, and the second part is the synced album, which you do it from the iTunes. Saved albums have all the screenshots which you take from the iPad using the home screen button and the button on the top. And, and there is no way to delete them. The second part is the photos part which is synced with the iTunes which is stored in the photos. The saved album is in the DCIM. You need to open it up, go into the 100 Apple and it will show you all the photos which we have taken till now. It's in JPG format but if we have changed it through some way it's, it's PNG sometimes like you can see all the images now this application gives you a one click preview like you select it and it gives you a preview you can disable it from here now if you want to delete all the images you can do it just first disable the enable auto previews then you go and select any of them right click and delete and this will delete all of them and it will start refreshing again this is how it works, so you cannot do anything about it. Now let's go to the album part which you want to see. Uh, go to the photos folder, you have slideshow settings. If you remember, the for every album you can have a slideshow setting with music on the background and everything. Second is the thumbs folder. Thumbs folder doesn't tell you that it's a thumbnail of all your images, but it has all the images with the exact resolution where you have stored it. Now it has a weird convention of renaming like it has f00, f01, f02 folders right inside you have all the images now if I click on enable auto previews you can see all the images now what is weird about is iTunes doesn't store all the albums with the name you have saved it it has a database of its own like if you go to the photos folder you have the photo database uh, it stores all the settings and all the mappings here so you don't get the same exact album name and all the images inside it like you have synced using the iTunes. So what exactly you can do here is you can select all the folders and drag it and drop it to a folder on your desktop. I've already copied it once so I might get a option. Okay, it looks like I've deleted it. So let's go and see here like you can see all the folders and images are available here like I said the folder arrangements and the arrangements which is of images are very weird like you will see one click from one album one click from another album so it's completely different you cannot do anything about it but at least you can copy all of them this is about the images part. Second we'll go into the uh, videos part which should be available with uh, let me see yeah it's in the phone data folder which has videos, thumbnails and all those things. So video should be available here. I don't have any of the video so I cannot show you exactly and then we have uh, what else we have you can have all the podcast things over here and uh, what else uh, that's all I think that and you have the books folder also 
but you cannot actually do anything about it so that's about it all the folders everything you should be worried only about your photos and the videos and the audios now one thing I would like to warn you is the best is not to delete anything from here except photos or uh, your videos and everything because I don't know what will happen because they are in a different format and iTunes does it all different and second thing is if you launch your application this application iPhone Explorer don't go to the apps folder I will show you what will happen it has all the applications which you have listed over here but when you click on them you get a pilot directory not found once you get this anywhere you click in your media folder you will get nothing so you will have to close it and launch it again there is no other option launch it with a administrator mode so you don't get any file restrictions problem and all and overall the application is very smooth only thing is when it copies it might refresh your screens and all that's all okay there is no problem in that and it also comes with a favorite bookmarks where if you have any folder you can or whatever you visit you get it here if you want to switch you should be able to switch it from here that you can do and that's about it that's the application iPhone Explorer you can download it from iPhone-Explorer.com for free for both Mac and PC so I would suggest I would highly recommend that you go for that application and manage all your photos videos take it out without using iTunes but you need to have iTunes installed not without that thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe and hope to see more videos like this soon thanks